it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. And this morning, because it is still morning, <laughs> I made two washcloths last night to finish up the purple yarn. This is one of them. Now this one, you guys will get different different ones. Um, so don't be put off by that. This one has it said that you can hang it. I made it with the little loop here. And one over here. The way it's easier for you to just hang when it's drying. And that's a good idea. Now with this one, I just used rows of single stitch crochet. And uh, I was teaching my friend this last night. So she's getting back into crocheting and what better to start with than just a washcloth it's basic it's basically a granny square if you think about that that's basically a granny square maybe done in a different pattern than other people's granny square but that's basically what a washcloth is it's a granny square And yes, I am somebody's granny. I know I don't look it. Anyway. <laughs> so. I know I said I'd do a video today. And, and don't worry about that. I am going to do some video today for that. Um, let's see. I've already put Nicole's stuff aside. Nicole from Sin City Soaps and Candles already put your stuff aside what I need to do is Wayne's and I thought maybe I would just go ahead and use what's left of the blue yarn he's a dude <laughs> you know give a dude blue I wouldn't give him brown what can brown do for you? Well, there's a lot of things to be said for that. <laughs> Anybody else ever thought about that for their advertisement? Or am I being serious? Oh, I've come up with plenty of things. <laughs> it's all funny. Oh, I gotta find the end of my yarn again follow it around uh, because I have it right here and I know it's not right here uh, so yeah let me find the end of that okay I forget how good I tuck in the end of the yarn when I'm doing this the lighting's really dark in here like that's why I bought a lamp okay <laughs> this down here. I'm not sure if that helps. There we go. Just had to bring the lamp a little closer. So, um, anyway, you guys know, leave some tail. And I actually just wanted to get this done so I can get it in the mail tomorrow. I have some stuff to do all week stuff to do all week. I'm going to be a busy person all week. So what I'm going to do with this is you chain 30 single. You chain 30 single stitches because that's what you always start with anyway. That's one, two. I haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> Probably till and that's only 10 stitches right there now I wasn't counting that first loop um, because you have to have something to bring it all through I 
that's 20. And that is 30. Now this is just for making the washcloth. The washcloth is so easy. I wouldn't even need my glasses. I really don't like the glare on the screen. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, know how it is in the morning, but I always keep like my little, I know they sell the, sell their own at Sun City Soaps and Candles, but have my own little blend until I actually try theirs out. Have my own little blend that's my personal blend. Um, you guys know that. Uh, I know a lot of people are doing Bath and Body Works hauls. Well, <laughs> well, what's coming in my mail tomorrow is not Bath and Body Works, people. It's Sun City Soaps and Candles. There you go. <laughs> and it's just the stuff for my Christmas giveaway. Even though I ordered all this stuff on my birthday. Now with this, I showed you the two that I did with single crochet. Now I'm going to change this one up a little bit. Okay. I'll bring that through two and then bring it through two. And that way you have that little squared edge. Should I be using my glasses? Probably, but I can see this well enough. Bring it through one, bring it through two, bring it through two. three on there. Bring it through one. Bring it through two. Bring it through three. Bring it through one. Bring it through two. Bring it through. Now, I already have a hat for Wayne because I'm told that you guys are getting some weather so yeah I don't have any matching yarn for what I made for Wayne unless I use the rest of that brown yarn but I don't know if there's enough there for a manly pair of gloves I've seen his hands in the video for you guys, but um, yeah, when he's making soap dishes or when he's making something, you now this is Nicole makes a lot of stuff, and you know, you do a beautiful job, you really do. But you know, like you and Wayne combined in your skills, like you have some skills off the chart. have to put that Star Wars uh, soap dish on my list of things next to buy. I like that thing. I like Star Wars and I like Star Trek. Um, I have to show you guys the fabrics I got yesterday from uh, Sam's up at the farmer's market can't believe they're retiring. They'll be closing their doors forever. Makes me sad. But I did get to buy the last of some Star Trek fabric they had. Yes, I said Star Trek. <laughs> the only character that was missing from that was Scotty. Not really 
not really Star Trek, unless you have Scotty with Mr. Spock. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of true. It's not really Star Trek unless you uh, have everybody that, you know, is well known for that show. I mean, they have uh, Spock, Kirk, Lieutenant Uhura. Oh, yeah, and they were also missing uh, Pavel Chekhov on that fabric. So it's like two characters that they're actually missing on there. It's Pavel Chekhov and Mr. Scott. Oh, I just thought about that. I don't want to leave Chekhov out of the the roll call for them. Um, because, well, he was a big part of it. The only ration they had on there. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe that, like, that, those characters were the only characters missing from that fabric. They have Dr. McCoy on there. Before Kelly. That's his real name. I guess they have a contract with NASA. Now, this is very interesting. Um, Gene Roddenberry Studios has a contract with NASA, which is a very interesting contract. Um, that once. Uh, one of their people pass away, they can be, instead of buried, they can be uh, launched into space. Yes, launched into space. Now, if they don't, family doesn't want their whole body launched into space. They don't have to do that. Give them a locket of hair. They'll launch that into space with it. And something in. Put like a picture of them in their Star Trek uniform. <laughs> Which I think is kind of interesting. Like you're going to put them in their Star Trek uniform. Uh, that's okay. I think that might be kind of cool. And launch them into space. Yeah. Okay, I'm still doing double crochet. I'm to do single crochet coming back across. But I think this is going to be a really nice one. And it's going to be nice for anyone, really. But uh, since I'm mailing stuff, to uh, Nicole and Wayne of Sin City Soaps and Candles. Um, oh yeah, I also bought some faux fur yesterday. I never buy real fur, don't come at me. Uh, so, the guy, he gave me a deal on the fabrics. Um, I was going to get some yarn yesterday, but that sweet little old lady, she wasn't there. Maybe the weather got her. That can happen. Um, she wasn't there. But, uh, yeah, that was like a couple of my main reasons to go there. It was a uh, fabric place and the sweet little old lady. That's basically my rounds for that place. But, like I said, you know, the fabric store up there, they're going on retirement. So, they're having a retirement sale. So, it's really sad. And, um, 
I hope they give me a call. They're supposed to give me a call. Like, if they can't sell some of their fabrics, I'll just, like, say, hey, here's this. Can I just take, you know, X, Y, and Z off of your hands? So, um, I save. Don't get that wrong. I sit on my money. I, I don't squander money. Oh, yeah, speaking of squandering, like, I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. Shane Dawson releases more merch. And most of you out there are doing what again? You're hoarding it. Stop that. Give other people a chance. That was a nice robe. And his ugly sweater was funny. Now everything is gone. I like that Shane Dawson ugly sweater. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I probably would have got it if I could afford it, but that's okay. Oh, I'm sure Rich Lux will have it. He has everything, right, girl? Sweetie doll face, you always have, like, the real PR from, uh, from them. Okay, and then we square off our corner. And that's going to be a good size washcloth. Look, if that can go across your forehead like that, and it's not touching my skin, it's a perfect size washcloth. And then when I turn it, I go through here. Right? And then go through, and that way you square your end. And then you go through the next one. So, like I said, this is just going to be a washcloth. And now I'm just going to do single crochet chain across this. And that's how most of this washcloth is going to be a single crochet. And it's really going to be about that simple to do, uh, you know, like the doubles for here. Obvious. And then do your rows of uh, single crochet across. You know, I'm pretty quick at this. If you're not quick at it, that's why I teach you um, how to do this. I know there's a lot of us out here that teach knit and crochet. Probably like, well, when are you going to teach us the knit? I will end up teaching you the knit. I haven't knit in a while. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the last thing that I did knit was a neck warmer for someone that's no longer Doug Paulson's friend because he did something horrible to Doug. And, um, I don't know why people have to be grimy, but, uh. Yeah, that was the last time I had knit, and uh, I just, like, I stick to crochet a lot, because it's so easy to do. Okay, look, here on the end, I pulled one through already. Look, I'll re-show you that. Like, you come to the end, it looks a little weird. Go through right here, pull an end, go through, or... What I forgot to do is wrap the, wrap the yarn around there, then get through. That's what I forgot to do. I was like, why isn't this looking right? Okay, go through one, go through two, go through two. You've evened it out as much as possible. It's a washcloth. Nobody's going to see it but you. <laughs> All right, and on here, but... 
uh, it's pretty much even. Pretty much. If you look at that, that's pretty darn even. And then we just turn this and do, I would say, six more lines of single crochet. Just turn this. Like I said, go back through here. Pick up your yarn and pull it through. Pull it through. And I have my my edge. And then go through the next one. And work your single crochet. Now see, I could always make this video a two-in-one. I could. I could. Should I? Maybe I should. Um, anyway, because I really have a lot of stuff to do this week. Uh... To get ready and then oh, soldier up for like the flight back oh my gosh flying is a bit nerve-wracking um saw the uh jeffree star christmas collection really nice saw his skin frost rich lux was showing it um that looked really nice. Yeah, it did. It looked really nice. Get some more yarn out because I need to do that. <laughs> like I said, I have a lot of yarn here, so this is going to be great. And have more than enough for like the uh, washcloth and a bath mitt. Now for a men's bath mitt, I always make it bigger than what I do for the women's bath mitt. Because not all men have that little tiny hand. Yes, I know. This finger is crooked. He got stuck in the car door when I was a kid. I shouldn't say stuck. It was slammed in a car door. But, do that. Then do that. I'm like, eh? See, I really gotta make coffee smoothies. Two and three. We just do <clears throat> four more lines of this, so I will do four more lines, and then I'll be back. Okay, well, we have one more row. I know, look how that grew. Like, it could be a headband <laughs> or a visor for a hat. No, there is actually a way to crochet hats, and we'll do this in, you know, soon that has the uh, the beak on it. Let me get a drink of water. Um, and I will end up teaching you guys that. And I just need, you know, like, really good. This is a good sturdy yarn. This is uh, Red Heart. And, I mean, a lot of companies make a good sturdy yarn for that. But it depends on your crochet stitch. That definitely matters on how you do your shape and how you uh, design. Design concept is key. Design concept is always key. Especially when you're working... Um, with things like this, or you're working with a fashion item, I'm trying to figure out why does my eyelid look so shiny? I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> I don't either. I don't have any makeup on. And my face is all shiny. Oh, well. 
I just woke up looking like this. It's weird, but I wake up looking like this. Some days I'll wake up looking like I have makeup on and mm -mm, nope. None. So I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not a frequent flyer. I, I'm really not. Um, and if I go somewhere, I don't like to go without at least a little cosmetic in case you need it with you. Um, so I was wondering, how the heck do I fly with a glass foundation bottle? I saw my foundation from uh, Believe. I really, I enjoy that foundation. That is a great color match. And they have some darker ranges too, but they do color match really well. And I'm not apologizing for the neighbor's annoying dogs. It's two neighbor's houses. That's the neighbors that have, oh my gosh, let me make you laugh. <laughs> let me make you laugh in the morning. This will make you laugh. In the news, <laughs> this is a little joke around here right now. Some free range bacon. Was caught. Running through people's yards. There's your free range bacon. <laughs> and it was hamming its way through everything. <laughs> oh, it, that's funny. So, um, Oh my gosh, I don't know how many times it kept going around to the neighbors. I don't know if the one neighbor that, like, if you were hearing their dogs bark, it's their pig. Don't know if they ever tried to come collect it. If not, somebody out there is going to have a good pork dinner. <laughs> around here, somebody would do that. They would think it's a wild boar. Wild boar doesn't even look like that. I mean, similar, but not exactly. It was too clean. I think it was somebody's pet. Hey, Shane, we found your pet running through the yard. Oh, my gosh. There you go. We found Shane Dawson's pet. I turned this and I started doing another uh, single crochet across now. I already have six on here. I might do a little more than that. Um, and then when it comes down to it, we'll do the double crochets at the end of this, which uh, matches up with this. I mean, you don't have to. I'm only doing it because I want to. Um, but right here with the tail yarn, I'm going to crochet that. And uh, you know what? Here, let me show you what I do. Because I don't want this video being too long. We're almost on 30 minutes with this anyway. So this is what I do with the end tail piece. Is I crochet that little like hook part that you just hook it on. I mean, like right here can be an area where you just hook your yarn, or hook your, uh, just put it on a hook to dry. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, Sin City soaps and candles, mm, check them out. They make really great stuff. And I can't wait for my package to come in tomorrow. Now, I'm not going to open it until I get back 
from Florida. Oh, did I say that? Yes, Florida. Get back from Florida on the 12th. So. Yay! So the 12th day in month, I actually come back. So. I'm thinking, you know, like, leave it in the comments below if you want me to chronicle my trip and then load it when I get back. Because it's the last time I'll be roaming anywhere with Rockus. Um, so there you go. That's like the little end that you would do. That way you have like a little spot there to like hang your... Uh, your washcloth and I think that that's very helpful uh, it is it's very helpful like when you just want to hang something and you don't know how to do it I think just hang it on a hook let it dry um, yeah so pretty much I'll follow along with a bunch of single crochets until this is a full square like the other ones that I showed you. Let me get one back out. Like, like this. Oh, now you can kind of see the purple. Isn't that a pretty purple? That's a pretty purple. Um, like who out there wouldn't want a nice soft crochet? Don't worry, my hands are clean. I washed them. Um, who wouldn't want something that's that nice? You know, and it's part of the giveaway. Um, the bath mitts that I'll be making won't match that because I don't have the yarn. But I will be using other yarn that I already have on hand to go in your package. So, like I said, nobody's really going to see it but you, but I'm going to make it nice. I need to use up that green yarn from the uh, reindeer hat. <laughs> I need to use up that yarn. So, I am going to use up that yarn to make one bath mitt, because I won't have enough there for two bath mitts. And then I'm going to use more of this yarn to... Uh, make I mean I have some brown yarn I could use that for a bath mitt but I don't think anybody really wants a brown bath mitt I don't think it's I don't know maybe it's my etiquette but I don't think I want to give anybody a brown bath mitt you know I prefer that you have something nice and cheery you know what I just realized I'm doing these in chakra colors. <laughs> I am. I'm doing these in chakra colors. There's um, the uh, purple tone. And then this one's a lighter one. This is a lavender tone. Then I have the blue. And then I have the green. These are chakra colors. Oh my gosh. I just realized that. Like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I will finish this, and then when I come back later, oh, there, there you go, because I want to teach you guys how to make a bath mitt. How's that sound? I think that sounds boondaba to a lot of you. Boondaba. Now, I will check that brown yarn that I do have and see if I have enough left to make Wayne a pair of, uh, knuckle gloves is I'm like if I'm sending something nice to her at least make sure he has something nice too just out of kindness um, that's just how I am oh the fabrics that I picked up yesterday the faux fur that I was trying to tell you about don't come at me for that it really is fake um but it's so soft it's so soft <sighs> I'm going to make stuffies out of them. I'm going to make stuffies. Yes, I am. 
and uh, whatever leftover scraps of fabric that I have and yarn scraps will go into those stuffies so that nothing goes back into a landfill. This is a project of mine so that nothing goes back into the landfill. And washing instructions will be included because you can't wash it on hot. And yeah, <laughs> you can't. And then you have to basically put it on air dry if you put it in the dryer. So except for these, except for these. Uh, these you can just wash out by hand and hang and let them dry. That's probably the most simple thing you could do. These uh, things, that, that anything I make out of yarn is half acrylic, half wool. And uh, acrylic is a basis of polyester. So you have to remember that. We don't want things to melt. So uh, what a lot of companies are doing when they recycle water bottles is that is how they get their polyester. Their, uh-huh. Absolutely. I have seen people shred down bottles to like a string, right? Put it on a roll and use it for fishing line. That's a thought. That's that's a thought for you out there that go fishing is make it so thin you can use it for fishing line there's a concept by itself so anyway i really need to go make some coffee i will show you guys this finished when i come back to teach you how to make a bath mitt. I think that will be great um, because not a lot of people out there know how to make a, a good bath mitt. It's like making a mitten basically but I make them with the top of it shaped different. I make rounded ones. I make the square one like I showed you guys for Nicole. Um, yeah pretty much and then also I pay attention in people's videos like um, what their hands look like so I know what I'm sizing for oh in Diego star man I ordered one of your coffee mugs for my birthday it goes in my coffee mug collection <laughs> Starman has um, his own, well, he sells where he sells his merch. He has his own merch. And I purchased the coffee mug for myself because I have a coffee mug collection, so it's kind of obvious. Um, and I didn't get the small one. I got the large one. So that gives you more moolah, la, la, la. La, 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 la. So see, I'm actually getting my own money. Um, okay, guys, I really got to go make my coffee. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And uh, my fingers got to crack. Um, and I will see you guys later give you more info for the giveaway. I'm excited to do this. Like I said, I won't be shipping the product out to the winners. Three boxes, one winner per box. Um, until after Christmas because there's crazy, crazy mail time. <laughs> crazy mail. Um, like, it's hard to get anything shipped unless you do it express. And then I'm on a budget. So, <laughs> I'm doing this on a budget. Do I have something in my teeth? Oh, no, that's that tooth that always looks dead, but it's not a dead tooth. I'm not like Graveyard Girl. I don't have a dead tooth. <sighs> uh, 
actually to get that thing brightened. Um, and I use the Crest Pro Health for my teeth. And I'll tell you what, I almost got this other toothpaste. But I was like, do I want to use something that's going to turn my teeth black while I was working on that? And yeah, it sounded weird. I know I had coconut oil in it. We'll talk about that later. I'm rambling now. <laughs> um, and I will show this to you when I'm done. All right. See you then.